What is going on, guys? Joe from Odyssey Off-Road real quick. Just wanted to report to you guys. Uh, I got about 70 hours on my Raptor. I've never checked and adjusted the valve lash. So I took it apart today. Uh, you got to take the gas tank off to get to the um, intake valves, which are up under this cover here. Exhaust valves are easy to get to. Um, but you'll see here. This is what you want to do. You want to set the engine atop dead center on the compression stroke. That would be that line facing up. Um, take these two plugs out. Turn you, this plug here, you get your crank bolt in there. Turn the crank until you get that line facing up to the little point right there. You want that lined up. Once it's about there, there's a, you'll see a little bit, a little dash. You want that lined up with the uh, marking on the case. Pretty much once you have that line straight, That'll be very close. It's microcosm off, maybe. Then you just get that to line up, and then you're at 100% top dead center on the compression stroke. At that point, you can check your valve lash. You just pop these covers off. There's four, ten, uh, four eight millimeter bolts on each. When you pop the cover off, your correct valve lash is on your air intake. If you still have your factory air intake, it's right here. So intake, make sure you don't confuse millimeters uh, with standard measurements. You want 0.09 to 0.13 millimeters on the intake. Now, if it's the point, if you check them, start with the feeler gauges at 0.09. If it's tight, then you know you got to loosen them up a bit. I set mine to the loosest setting because as they, as your valve, your valves wear, basically the valve gets sucked into the head more, and you're going to have a tighter tolerance. So you want to then loosen it back up to within spec. My all my valves were within spec, and I have 70 hours on this machine, so that's terrific. Um, but I, the exhaust valves were the only ones that were a little bit tight, and they were at about 0.17. So I set them back to the 0.20, and the, uh, the intake was at um, like a tight, um, it, was like, it, was, it was like a tight 0 0.10, 0 0.11. So I just back those off to the 0.13 but they were like pretty much right in the middle the just the exhaust the exhaust valves were a little bit tighter than the intake but they were within spec and at 70 hours on the machine um that's that's pretty darn good it says a lot about these motors so just so you guys are aware um that's the, that's what i'm experiencing first time checking them 70 hours and they're within spec i did set them to the loosest setting so that hopefully get another 70 hours out of it and um that's it guys Super easy job. You should do it. You could do this yourself. Just take your time. You need 10 millimeter. Once you get all your plastics and tank off, you can't take your plastics and tank off. Uh, don't don't touch your valves. <laughs> this that's the easy part. But the valve job, uh, the, the valve lash settings or uh, check is simple. You can do it with a 10 millimeter wrench. Uh, it's all you need. Um, they make a special tool so that you can adjust it. But you don't really need that 10 millimeter wrench. There's plenty of room in here. Um, there's some other wrenches where you would need the tool. It's it's tighter to get your hands in there. But there's plenty of room here once you get that gas tank off to work on it. Um, and then once you tighten the lock nuts back down on your valves, just you know recheck and make sure they didn't move. And you're good to go. But that's it. I'm going to get this sucker buttoned up. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Hope this is helpful for somebody.